Hi everybody, it's Miss Michael from Purdy Elementary Kindergarten. And as you can see, I am in my kitchen at my house. <laughs> and um, I have some fun art projects planned for us. Because as you know, I love art projects. And that's gonna help us get our, our fine motor muscles going and keep our hands developing nice and strong, um, even when we're doing our at-home school learning. <laughs> You should know that this um, is a little bit different for us. Our family is extremely shy, so you're not going to see um, all of me in most of the videos. Um, and that's just because we're shy, but um, cannot wait to show you some fun art projects. So these three little pigs here were made out of toilet paper tubes and some yarn and some paper that we had at our house. And we just thought it was a fun project that we found on YouTube, actually. Um, just because um, we needed to use stuff that we had here at home already. Um, I just thought it was fun. So what I'm also going to show you is, sorry about the shaking, is a, how to draw a pig. And this is my daughter's book, um, a art book, draw, how to draw things book that we just had here at home. And I think parents, you should just know that Art doesn't need to be anything super fancy or elaborate. Just pretty much anything that you have at your house, especially now when shopping is not recommended. Um, just go ahead and make do with what you have hanging out around your house. Okay. Um, so there's how kind of the steps that I, we had. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to draw it. And treasures, you know that I am not an artist. I, I do the best that I can, but I drew this one and I go ahead and hand my video, oops, sorry about that, over to my daughter here, just so she's gonna lend me a hand as I kind of trace over this. So what you wanna do to make your pig is to start, and you wanna have a strong tummy. So I'm standing up right now. Um, you wanna have your strong tummy going on, even if you're sitting, cause that's gonna help you become a better writer and a better artist. And your helper hand holding the paper down. We talked mm -hmm. about that in class. And then the kindergarten pinch. And parents, that's very important for you to um, be making sure your students are doing. You wanna make sure that that web space right there is open, it should be kind of a circle. Those fingers should be curved and that um, middle finger should be just a supportive roll underneath and those other fingers tucked away. So that is definitely something that we want you working on as you have your students at home. So, uh, so helper hand, strong tummy, kindergarten pinch, and you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna trace a great big circle or oval. And you can turn, definitely turn the paper if you need to. Go around it. Crayons work, markers, colored pencils, Sharpies if you want to. And definitely do all that. Okay. So big circle oval shape first. Mm -hmm. Then you want to make the eyes. And I just did two dots kind of up here on the right side. Okay. And then some eyebrows there. For the nose, it's a little bit different as in the book. It, this worked better for me. It's just to make a circle and then two little dots for the snout. And then kind of half uh, a curve there make the smiley face. Why not? Okay. For the ears, I did kind of this pointed shape there and then put a little line there and then another one mm. over here on this side. There. Okay. The tail. Okay, you getting the tail? Yes, okay, good. Uh, that is a fun loop-de-loop. -loop. Again, all of this is practicing writing with that good kindergarten pinch okay, and drawing. Oh, I'm not quite sure why that's going off right now. Um, it's off. Oh, okay. okay, we'll turn that off in a minute. Okay. Your phone shark time. Okay, so I'm gonna try to kind of fill that all in there. Okay, thank you. Okay, would you mind going to turn that off? Yes, I have three young children <laughs> at home, so you're gonna hear their noises and stuff in the background. <laughs> and we do all have coughs, so we are staying put. So I outlined that pig there. And then we're just gonna add some fun details. Like pink. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm not gonna color all of it in right now, but remember, helper hands, strong tummy, kindergarten pinch, even when you're coloring. And when kids are coloring parents, it should have 
a, um, their arms should not be going all over. It should have that control of that hand to get those finger muscles some really good exercise, which is what we want to see. And young children, such as kindergartners, typically have a little bit of a hard time with this because uh, they want to get it done pretty quickly. So um, encourage them to kind of slow down, stay in the lines, and do the best they can. Okay. Um, of course, you can add some details, like some grass if you want. If you want to make it the three little pigs, you could certainly draw three pigs and then maybe add a wolf or even a whole setting, which is where the story happens of the different homes that you want to do. It'd be kind of fun to do. So anyway, there is how to draw a pig. So we love you, we miss you, and we hope that you are all doing well and we'll see you again soon.